Tiny in Vail, Colorado. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. First of all, I want to start off by saying thank you for reaching out to me. Thank you for your patience. But he asked me could I make him a pair of BMW glasses. He went to his local shop. They quoted him $1,000 for a pair of BMW eyeglasses with the invisible bifocal polarized gray with Crizal anti-glare coating. And I said I will look at it, pick up the collection. I did. I met with the sales rep. They've got some really nice cool pieces. A lot of these have the awesome BMW emblem, but I will go over that during the video. But so I did. I picked them up. It took me about a month total to get these in here, to open up the account, get the collection. And I'm going to do it for half price of what his place in uh, Colorado quoted him a thousand. I'm going to do it for $509.97. I'll break that down for you. But tonight he is getting, of course, this is the BMW logo. You get all the original packaging, the logo and BMW world trademarks or blah, 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 blah. Open up the gift box that it comes with. We have got the case with the BMW emblem on there. When we open up the little magnetic flap, we have got the frame. Of course, it comes with a BMW carrying bag cleaning cloth. It too has the BMW emblem on there. You're going to get a whole bunch of emblems. BMW is good for branding. And this is, of course, it comes like so many frames do with a plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. And I will put that on there when I ship to you. This is the model number 6530 color 90 which is the blue black and the 55 eye size it uh of course it's got the bmw propeller emblem on the side that beautiful blue and it even has the bmw emblem on engraved into the lens you're gonna get all the manufacturer's original packaging when i ship to you but this is tough i'm glad that i took your advice and picked up this collection a lot of BMW fans out there from uh, the M series, the motorsports to the motorcycles they have. Let's see how these go. This is the first one out the door, apart from the one I'm wearing. I had to pick one out for me. Um, but let me pop out your original demo lenses. And we can be in. I'm going to put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker. But first, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me trim that down. You are number 1335. Let me attach this on there for now while we are talking i'll make a permanent copy of it later program the shape into the computer so that years from now should you ever need new lenses for this frame i can mail them right to your home but i'm gonna hit start a little stylus is going to pop up and go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine authentic BMW eyeglass frame from me and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number so if you have vision insurance or flex dollars you will get reimbursed for this purchase whether they are prescription or not. So I want to point out that this BMW these are made in Japan using the highest quality Japanese titanium, some of the best out there. Again, this temple shows us from the BMW collection. Great spring hinges. It's a double barrel spring hinge. These are very high quality, well-made frames. And where am I at? Oh, that's the shape that I'll be cutting. Let me move that on to the next screen. Your pupillary distance is 31.5. The computer starts at 32.5. So I'm going to tap the minus button a couple times till we get to 31.5. Let's raise the optical center up to 23. That's the height of the invisible bifocal. I'm going to change the layout screen um, for that. Now before I begin, I can show you how to tell whether... So gray on gray, we're going to match that color. But I can show you how to tell if... Polar, if lenses are polarized, you hear the term polar opposites. When you pass the lenses in front of each other, you can see through them. But when you turn one at 90 degrees, the lens goes pitch black. That's how you can test to see if your lenses are polarized. So, I'm going to go ahead and place this one onto the platform. I'm going to grab a block, or as I like to call them, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. So I need two double-sided adhesive stickers. Pull that off the black side is the sticky side 
put that on the platform do the same thing now for the second one pull the paper away to make the black side sticky on the back is a silver button that is a magnet it's going to do its job twice we pull that one out of there that one didn't get used today um, that magnet is going to attach itself to another magnet there into the arm i'm going to place that there now these are invisible bifocals i've gone ahead and laid this out i use this every invisible bifocal has some little laser engravings on there 34 millimeters apart it tells me where to lay out the lens and then of course the the height of uh where your pupil will sit the vertical decentration my, my gopro camera pushed my glasses down now i'm in the invisible bifocal too that 40 year virus has gotten me but I've, the optical center goes there that blue cross is the geometric center of your frame your eye is just above that in inset these other two dots tells me that it's oriented and they're just perfectly that neither side is askew I want to check one thing to make sure the lens is large enough to fit into the frame and it is hit that button the arm's going to come down place the block onto the right lens we're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right we will call that the left lens and again line up the magnet pupillary distance for your left eye 32.5 the computer has mirrored at the right side so we're going to tap the plus button a couple times till we get to 32.5 same optical center height get every you can see my fingerprints on there really good get everything lined up in there perfectly let me clean that off so i can see what i'm doing there's no smudges to interfere with that all right so get everything lined up exactly where it's supposed to be hit that button arm's going to come down and place the block onto the left lens now this is the edger this costs forty thousand dollars about as much as a bmw car and it weighs about 200 pounds a lot lighter than one of their motorcycles but i recommend everyone go out buy their own put it on your kitchen counter then you can cut your own lenses at home and you won't need this guy with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to do it for you so we're going to go ahead and put uh, the right lens in well let's wake it up wake the computer up so it knows what shape it is cutting and of course this is job number one three three five one three three five so these are polycarbonate lenses if they were plastic high index plastic or trivex i would select that lens material i'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen in this frame i'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens and you know what i am not going to put a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens that i normally do because i don't do that on sunglasses you might get a white ring from that and so i'm going to did i get some cool effects on there but uh, I'm going to show you what I do. I'm going to do go old school and do that manually. Cut that light off there. And uh, for the best cosmetic look possible. So press that on there firmly. I'm going to line that magnet up with the magnet in the chuck. Or as I like to call it, the Charles. Because I don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. Yeah, I know. Free bad jokes with every pair of glasses sold. Hit the green arrow which is start the door closes the clamp shuts the lens is going to be traced by two wide styluses making sure the lens is large enough to fit into the frame and you can see as it's going around tracing that shape and then the old carpenter saying measure twice cut once oh it's not it already did that while i was talking but the cutting wheel is starting up you can see the light flickering in the background is water that is there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel polycarbonate lenses cut dry where plastic high index plastic and trivex lenses cut wet meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle now water will spray onto your lens just to wash away any optical debris that you may see beginning to form on the edge of the lenses but your lenses are made out of polycarbonate that is 40 percent thinner and lighter than regular plastic they are virtually unbreakable these are high impact ballistics grade lenses the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes it also has 100 percent uva and uvb protection built into the lens as well as a premium scratch coating we know how when it comes to the, the uv light we know how sensitive your eyes are to ultraviolet light your or your skin from sunburn your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin so you have permanent sunscreen in your eyes unlike the lotion screens and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun or on the snow there in Vail, colorado this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied now you also have the crisol back surface anti-glare coating 
If you think of your sunglass lens as a satellite dish, it can pick up reflections from the side coming in from the snow, from headlights, from anything. And so, yes, headlights, daytime running lights on cars, you do get that. So you have uh, anti-reflective coating on the back surface to reduce that. So in just a moment, I will open this door with my mind. You like that? I can melt ice with my mind. I can. I just got to stare at it for a couple hours, but then I can do it. So let's see if it fits first time around. I do want to smooth out the rough surface that is left over from the cutting cycle. So I have, again, just another wheel, just like you'd find on the edger. Turn that on. I'm going to lightly go around and smooth out the back surface of the lens. Use my thumbnail to scrape that off and drop that into the trash. Once it's all off, take your frame, press it on there firmly, tuck that into the outside corner using my thumbs, press down at the nose and going all the way around. It does not want, oh, there it goes. It did pop in there easily. So we're gonna flip that over to L, press that on there firmly, line up the magnet with that one in the chuck the charles the chucky baby the chuckster the chuckarama the chuckaroo all right if you can think of a funnier joke write it down on a hundred dollar bill and mail it to me and i'll read it on the air you don't even give you credit for it you don't even have to include your name i'll recognize your handwriting and give you credit just like before it's going around tracing the outside of the lens to make sure it fits giving you the best cosmetic look possible look no edge things the other nice thing about having me custom make your lenses this is a custom grind. Every progressive lens is custom made. I had them grind it as thin as possible. You have a strong magnifying lens. But hopefully on that before I should have pointed it out. You know what? Let's do that. Stop. Hammer time. So I'm drying the block off with my hand approved drying method. I'm going to take that sticker, add it to my sticker collection. Where well, that's peeling off, we're going to add that on there. Open up, oh, no, I hit stop, hang on, stop, 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 stop. Hit that button, open up the chuck. Your lenses, like that was a plus two. You see, this is known as a knife edge grind. I had them custom make your lenses. You have plus lenses which magnify. So I had to make the edges as thin as possible to make this as lightweight and as comfortable as possible to go with your lightweight titanium, Japanese titanium. Now let me put that back in there, hit start. When that cuts, we're gonna come back down here to the lensometer. I'm gonna turn the fine tune knob to 75. I'm gonna check the power of the right lens. Oop, my finger touched it. 75, I'm gonna put it in above that black dot. Read the power. And I am getting, where's my flashlight? Plus two in the black. That's because, that's the mark we're gonna read it from, right there at two. The unit of measurement we use in the optical world is called a diopter, spelled D-I-O-P-T-E-R, starting at zero and goes up in quarter increments. You're on the eighth rung of a ladder. You have eight steps of far-sided correction. With your glasses off, everything is much too small. That's why there's a plus sign your lens is magnified, just like a handheld magnifier. Now, once everything is the correct size, you have three steps of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike, or the letters P and F. So once everything is the correct size and enlarged, we have to take away those fuzzy edges. Think of it as the fine tune knob. So you have a second curve on your eye. You have a far-sided curve here. You have an astigmatic curve, and it's how we line up those two curves to make everything nice and crisp. And we're going to turn that fine tune knob to 75, which we're at. Let's check the second power, and we are getting... Hang on, what are we getting here? Hang on, let me see this. And we're getting plus one and a quarter. That's because you subtract 75 cents away from two, you get one and a quarter. You have one and a quarter in the black. So, the, your left eye, you only need five steps of far-sighted correction and only one step of astigmatism correction. We're going to turn that knob to 90. A straight line is 0 to 90 to 180. Your right eye, we turn that fine-tune knob to 75. For your left eye, we're going to turn it straight up to 90. Um, let's see, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Now, the first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. That last number could be anywhere from 0 to 180. 
it just tells me where to turn everything to make everything nice and crisp I want to put that safety bevel very very light safety bevel see I should have had another lens here that if I put a heavy bevel on there you would have seen this white ring going around it giving you an ugly cosmetic look that's why you want a perfectionist like me a licensed optician most labs that make your glasses and he was quoted almost twice at a thousand dollars for this frame with his prescription for the same equivalent lens top of the line s lord digital freeform lens but it's made by someone who is not who did not go to school for this essentially they're a machine operator you tuck everything in there it goes it snaps in there so that's what's nice i went to school for this i am a perfectionist i cut every pair of lenses that get shipped worldwide tiny saw one of my videos that's why he reached out to me he asked me if i could pick up this collection i told him i would look at it at the first convention i went to and i did also the um what else was I going to say? Anyone else out there watching, if there's a collection you need me to pick up, I will look into it. I did this for him. I'm all about customer service. So let's see. Put this in here. Let's read the power. I didn't have to move it far. We're at one and a quarter, the same power we ended up at. Plus one and a quarter. You have one step of astigmatism correction. We end up at plus one. How do we do that? Remember high school algebra? Yeah, no one does. Let's use today's terms. If you had a dollar and 25 cents in the plus column and then you, someone borrowed a quarter from you, you subtracted 25 cents, you would be at plus one, one dollar. That's where we're at. So your pupillary distance for your right eye, 31.5 for your left, 32.5 for a total of 64. Let me make sure that's right. 31 and 32 is 63 plus two halves is 64. I'm going to turn the card around. Actually, I'm going to hold this up to light since we can do that here. Place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens. And then when we hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 64 millimeters. Do you see the black dot there? Let me check the optical center height. The vertical decentration should be 23. When you look at the bottom of the lens where it connects to the frame, we're getting 23. Let me do the same thing for that lens. 23 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. I couldn't have done a better job if I'd cut these lenses myself. But this is the portion in every video that as I clean your lenses, I mention that when you get these in the mail, and of course free shipping anywhere in the U.S., and Vail, Colorado is still in the U.S., but it's free shipping anywhere in the U.S., but when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because of 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set it on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. When I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. When I take mine off and press down on the counter, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. Yes, this is my BMW frame that I got. This is the... Hang on, i got to put on another frame just to see what model I have. Because yes, I am farsighted. This is the BMW 6045, the 49 eye size, color 50. Blue front with the blue tortoise temples on there. I'm all about me some blue. So I, and of course the blue and the brown goes with my blue brown, so I can always be matching. My wife said, you got another pair of blue glasses? And I said, how many pair of black shoes do you have in the closet? Yes. As a matter of fact, I do need another pair of blue glasses. Thank you very much. Oh, let me take those off. Look, another brown blue. I'm in me some brown blue or some blue orange. I wear some brown slacks, blue shirts. You can never go wrong with a brown blue combination. I'm going to put mine back on. So I can see what I'm doing. Flip that over, press down. There is no wobble. I close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and that neither temple is askew like that. Check the tension on each spring hinge to make sure that is uniform. If I need to tighten one, I would do that now to make sure they're uniform. Very quickly, let me show you some more of the frames. Of course, this is the frame I'm wearing. It has the classic P3 shape. It has a keyhole bridge, meaning that you could stick a skeleton key in there like the old doors versus a saddle bridge. We've got the keyhole bridge. Now this frame also comes in a classic tortoise with an amber color at the bottom. Of course, it's got the BMW emblem on there. Good rich colors here. 
some more frames here look it comes in blue i love their blue collection that was the nicest thing about it when the sales rep visited me she actually said i'm not going to sell you another pair of blue glasses you got to pick out another color but that's almost like the vent the grill again the bmw collection i'll have all of these on my website eventually give me time this is all brand new my wife bless her heart that's a southern saying she updates my website for me so she will get all these on there for you I love the, the gray color in this, the, the striation of the black in there. This is model 6027. Let me put that there. They gave me this little plaque. Um, again, this one was model number 6045. Comes in the two colors. This one is 6039. It just has the BMW stripe on the side. This one is the 6023. It does come with the logo. Now these are part of the M series that is on the lens for it has uh, the very the variegated temple again titanium very lightweight has the M logo on the side I've got that black with the red I've got it the uh, stainless steel chrome guess what with the blue and of course this is model number 1004 and I'll get more and more of these up here plastic front metal temples this is the 6063 I like the temple design on that one, so I ordered. There's lots more that are available. Of course, the BMW logo on the side. I got two string mounts because it has the carbon fiber on the edge there, part of the M series. This is the 1006. Different version on the double bar. This is a gold color with the black temple. I also have the silver with the silver black. It too has the carbon fiber on the inlay on the inside people who want a more minimalist look this is it the sunglass with the mirror very close to this one slightly different this is of course the one I cut tonight is the 6530 this is the 6526 and the 56 eye size I will have all the colors available that each one of these comes in comes in the mirror lens that I can do hey look there's me hey and Gomer says, hey, <laughs> so I grew up in North Carolina, we all know that one from the Andy Griffith show. It has the BMW on the side of that one. And of course, look, another blue sunglass. Chrome temples, or actually it's a stainless steel again with the BMW logo. Another silver mirror on there. And then this one, okay, I got a black frame. I had to get one just to make the sales rep happy. Um, but it looked kind of steampunk. The vintage it has the double bar there. The very flat metal cross. This is actually a metal groove. I cut them the same way. The same way there's a groove cut into the bottom of this lens. I cut that the same way even though the frame goes around. And that is mounted in there. It just has BMW written on the edge. And this is the 6537. And what am I leaving out here? What am I leaving out? But yeah, if there's a model number that you have seen somewhere else just like Tiny did, contact me. I'll get it on the website. I'll get it ordered for you. And again, these are the unbreakable polycarbonate lenses. This is important if anyone rides a motorcycle. I cannot emphasize enough the safety protection of this lens. You can see some cool chromatic aberrations. Polarized lenses block glare. LCDs, computer screens, cell phones, GPSs are a glare source. So what happens if you're looking at your phone and it's pitch black, simply tilt your head a little bit polarize the same way you can skip a stone off water light does the same thing sorry let me readjust the camera i apologize light hits a flat surface and reflects back up the sun and light does the same thing off of ski slopes where he's at or off of roads bumpers windshields but the lcds are now a glare source also so you may not be able to see that through the screen of course they're reorient reorienting reorienting all of that but if you're looking at your cell phone and it looks black, just simply tilt your phone. Or if your GPS or your car radio, just, you know, you can tilt your head. When The biggest time is when you're at the gas pumps. The displays there are in, is a digital display, which is a glare, digital glare. So it could come across as black. Simply just tilt your head one way or the other and you will see the tilt one ear towards one shoulder. And when you do that, you'll see the, what's written on the gas pumps. But how minimally you're actually at the pumps versus how often you're wearing these every minute of every day when you're out there, it pays to have polarized lenses. There's two types of lenses. There's a tinted lens, 
where you just take a clear lens and soak it in a hot dye just like doing Easter eggs until it gets dark. Polarize is a specialized filter. It blocks all horizontal glare. That's why when I rotated the lens 90 degrees, you saw that it blocked all the light. You can see some weird effects happening here because again, this is a glare source. So even though that looks weird, it is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Now again, these are polarized gray with the back surface Crizal anti-glare coating. I send out a selfie request to have your picture on the website. I also send out cleaning instructions on how to care for your frame and your lenses so they will last you for years, but also for the premium microfiber cleaning cloth that I provide, your Crizal anti-glare cleaning cloth and the BMW cleaning cloth that is in your case that also doubles as a carrying bag if you don't want to carry the case around with you. No other seller on the internet does that, I am told. So, if you've liked what you've seen and you want to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as FreePrescriptionLenses.com. On Twitter as FreeRxLenses. If you need to email me, you have any questions, you can contact me on the website here. Or you can email me directly at FreePrescriptionLenses at gmail.com. Or better yet, you can leave a question or comment in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer that. Plus, everyone else will be able to read your question and learn from your inquisitive nature. I love this frame. I'm going to have to look at this one. Maybe even get some uh, mirrored lenses to go back in this thing. A blue mirror, that would be sharp in here. So that is it. I appreciate you watching. Tiny, thank you for reaching out to me. He was shocked to hear he was going to have to pay $1,000. So I'm selling all these frames in the BMW collection for $250 each. He was quoted $350 to $400 for one of these frames. The Invisible Bifocal, the Essilor Ideal Advanced Digital Freeform Progressive Lens, top of the line digital lens, is $149.99 to add the polarized um, option, polarized gray or brown, or even now the green G15 adds $59.99. And there's even, uh, he got the Crizal Anti Glare for a total of $509.97. That is literally half the price he was quoted. When you drive a BMW car or motorcycle, you'd like to save money where you can. Nothing is cheap when it comes to these, but this is the cheapest. And if I can get it for you for half price, please do. So again, Tiny in Vail, Colorado, thanks for reaching out. Tell me to pick up this collection and having me make the 6530 and size 56 and color 90 for you. And everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.